Hello Sag, how are you guys? This is Debs and this is your TGIF weekly reading for Friday the 8th of September 2023. Sadie, without further ado, let's jump in and find out what may be happening for you over the next few days. The deck is a new one by Chiron Marchetti. All the information is down below. And if you find this resonates with you, you can book a private reading with me. My website is there too. Okay, Sag, let's get into this. Archangel Michael, thank you for joining us. This is the TGIF weekly reading for my Sagittarians. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, moving into the weekend and a fresh new week. What do we have for my Sagittarians? What is going on? Yes. Yes. Okay. All right. I don't know why. I can see someone looking at their phone and they're feeling really guilty, really uncomfortable. <laughs> Sad. somebody may want to reach out to you to explain, to apologise. It may be that someone here has been found out about something. And they're just feeling remorse. A bit embarrassed. We'll see. Okay, Saji. Let's have a look. So, guys, I don't know quite exactly what's happening here. As in, I feel that whoever you've been dealing with wants to come back into your life. But it's very unclear as to whether or not they are going to leave the person that they were with. All right? You'll see what I mean. So, Sagittarius. Ace of Wands. I think you started a connection with someone. But what you didn't know was that with the energy of the lovers, Gemini energy, they had a choice between you and someone else. With the five of wands, there could have been conflict in this connection. You may have just felt very confused. With the two of wands, this person definitely was trying to make a decision between you and someone else. We've got Cancerian energy with a chariot. Sag, I think you just moved on from this person and you put up very strong boundaries. For some of you, you may have blocked this person or you simply pushed down your feelings. I think with the energy of the star, you healed from this connection and you decided to put it in the past and to move on. Now, this could have been a few months ago, could have been longer. This person's coming back in Sagittarius, could have been an Aquarius, Libra or Gemini or an Aries with the Emperor. They're taking control of the situation. They want you back in their life. They're going to come in with an apology. What they're going to say is Four of Cups. I was really unhappy with the other connection, so I moved towards you. But there's an indication here, Sag, that they still aren't ready to make a decision to leave the other person. All they're doing is coming in to apologise, to say, I was going through a tough time in the relationship I was in. So they may be strategic because they're not saying they're leaving the other person. They're simply saying, I was very unhappy and I'm still very unhappy. But they may well be sitting in a long-term commitment or dating someone else long-term that they simply don't feel they can leave. So I don't know what this person hopes to achieve by moving back towards you. It could be that they simply want you back in their life. So just be aware sad that they are coming back in okay you know your own situation you know what you want to do relating to this but it's going to be difficult because all those emotions are going to resurface let's get into the second deck here we go guys tarot du soleil so what have we got for my lovely sagittarians yeah i don't think they have made a decision about the other person but it's as if they can't get you off their mind Strange energy, guys. Yeah, Michael's saying that's it. Okay, right. Mm. Let's have a look. 
Okay, Sag, you're coming through as the Queen of Wands. Very attractive, a bit of a go-getter. You go and get what you want, okay? This is you extremely creative, but you also don't suffer fools gladly. With the Eight of Swords, you were in your head a great deal about this person. There was something that didn't seem right. With the Three of Wands, you may have felt that your ships were coming in. You may have felt with the Hierophant, Taurus energy, that this was your person. But with the Seven of Swords, they were hiding the fact that they were still connected to someone else. That other person is coming through as the Queen of Swords. I think this person was in a very cold partnership, King and Queen of Swords. With the Six of Cups, as soon as they realised you got the heads up that they weren't being honest with you, they sort of scuttle back in the nicest sense to their Queen of Swords. With the energy of the world, you thought this was just over and done with. But with the star, they may be coming back to sort of heal the connection with you. But I don't know what their intentions are, Sag. Be very careful. They could simply be wanting to try again, you know? All right, guys, let's get into tarot. Here we go. This is the witch's tarot. What do we have, please, for my lovely Sagittarians? Seriously, guys, all of these readings of people not being honest, trying their luck, third-party situations, I get fed up with it as a reader too, you know? Magician, Virgo, Scorpio, Gemini energy. I think this person is trying to manifest coming back into your life. They're going to give it a go. The death card. They want to transform the situation with you, Scorpio energy. Page of Swords, they're going to be pretty blunt about their situation. Page of Pentacles. They may say to you, I really want to leave the person I'm with, my Queen of Swords. She's very cold, but we have a child together. Yeah, Justice. Your person's in some kind of legal contract with someone else their person could be a libra karma Ooh, okay i've got to admit Saj, for some of you this person is coming back to you because they may have faced karma from the divine for messing you around particularly if you're sitting in intuitive energy you could be a light worker they may have had a lot of problems in their life since they caused you this stress. And they may be feeling very uncomfortable believing that it's because they treated you badly. They lied to you. They deceived you. They may want to try and prevent any more karma. So they could be coming back, Saj, for sort of, dare I say it, selfish reasons. They want to prevent any more karma. Ace of Wands, yeah. They've received karma for sort of putting you into their life, Ace of Wands twice, and for sort of using you for a little bit of fun because they weren't having a good time with their Queen of Swords. Temperance, oh yeah. That's your Sagittarian energy. They see you very calm. They may feel you're connected to the divine, to your guides, to the angels. They're very worried that their karma is going to continue if they don't come back to apologize. But I think they also miss you. Nine of Pentacles, Sag, you are sitting in pre Empress energy. You're looking pretty damn good. Nice and stable. I think you've got over this person. You've walked away. You've healed. They can't believe it with a tower. They can't believe that you are nice and settled. You're moving forward. There's no indication that you're thinking about them anymore. Whilst they are reaping karma. Six of swords. Yeah, sad. You've moved on. You're nice and calm. You've taken the lessons that you needed to learn from the divine. Five of cups. Whilst they are sat, reaping karma, feeling incredibly guilty, wondering what to do. Eight of Pentacles. 
they are looking at all the time and effort they put into the connection with their Queen of Swords. Is it worth hanging on to that connection? Wow. They've been working on a relationship that is simply based on financial security. Strength card. I don't think these two are even intimate with the energy of the strength card. They could be connected to a Leo. They could be a Leo. Queen of Pentacles, yeah. Their karmic partner coming through as the Queen of Swords and the Queen of Pentacles is all about the money. She's all about the money, the stability. I don't think this guy is getting any from this woman. Um, it may have got worse between the two of them if their partner found out that they had a fling with you, Sag, and they didn't know what to do. King of Cups. Their partner may even be having a little bit of a quiet fling themselves with a King of Cups. So your person is totally left out in the cold and is heartbroken. Their whole world has disintegrated since they messed you around. And what they're doing is they're looking back and they're realising that they started all this. They started this wave of karma. And they're now looking at you thinking, oh my goodness. And there is Sag, looking absolutely amazing, sitting in Empress Energy as a single woman, doing extremely well, possibly financially abundant. And they're angry that their whole life has kind of fallen apart. You seem to have risen up the ranks, Sag. You seem to have healed, moved forward, done extremely well. Whereas their life has kind of just crashed. That's the truth. Ace of Swords. They may also feel that you have totally left them behind. You don't even want to talk to them anymore. No desire for any communication. And the divine is moving you onto a fortunate new path. You could be receiving a lot of luck in your life at the moment, Sag. You could be receiving accolades for the work that you do. You could be communicating with a lot of influential people. You could be doing extremely well in your career. You're sort of flying, Sag. Yeah, Queen of Wands, you're flying. They don't quite know what to do with themselves. It's as if they're kicking themselves. What a stupid person I was to let this amazing woman go. You're a star. And you've healed. And you're getting all these blessings raining down on you. Whereas this person is sitting in the rubble of the tower. King of Wands, they are still wildly attracted to you. Aries, Leo, Sag. I mean, you two are a true pair. But Sag, I've got to admit, this is a karmic soulmate. This is a karmic soulmate. Wheel of Fortune Tower, this is a karmic soulmate. I think this person's going to come and see you. It could be the shock of your life, <laughs> okay, that this person suddenly texts you or bangs on your door or sends you an email. And they're doing it because their whole world has disintegrated. They haven't got any money. Their karmic partner is angry and upset. She's probably having a fling with a king of cups and they don't know what to do. They've received this wave of karma ever since they treated you badly and they're now realising that they want to, that they want to try and stem that wave of karma and what they're thinking about is if they come forward to you to say i feel left out in the cold everything's kind of just crumbled i really wanted to say sorry i just wanted to see if i could spend some time with you my relationship isn't working out they're hoping that you're going to open the door i don't know whether you will what do they want from sagittarius yeah ooh Ace of Cups. So they are in a frosty relationship with their Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Swords. Their Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Swords is hanging on to them for dear life because they're nice and financially stable. Thank you very much. This guy could be earning a certain amount of money, doing pretty well, but they're in a horrible situation because there's no love between the two of them. And I feel as if this person is having issues 
They could be even having health issues. Six of Cups, they want to come back to you, Sag. Mm. They're going to be traveling to see you with the energy of the chariot. But they don't have good intentions with the Seven of Swords. Nine of Swords. It's as if they want justice in the fact that their life has fallen apart since you two cut contact. But Sag, it was their fault. They moved towards you while still being in a relationship with someone else. What did they expect? They just don't want to face karma. So they're angry with you. But what they don't recognise is that they were the ones that caused this wave of karma in the first place. What they're stressing about now is that they know that they're not doing the right thing. This is somebody who somehow wants justice. But it wasn't your fault to begin with, Sag. With the Nine of Swords, what they're stressing about is that if they do come back and still sit in the Seven of Swords, that karma's going to get worse. But it's as if they're itching to do something. So I don't know what this person is, is hoping to achieve. It's as if they're stuck. They know that they've made their bed, but they don't want to lie in it. And they somehow want you to make it all better. Well, why should you? Wow, cars are flying. Why should you? Yeah, four of swords. You're very guarded towards this person now, Saji. It's as if you come anywhere near me and you're going to regret it. You're not playing, Saj. This person messed you around. Yeah, they juggled you with somebody else. They received their karma because of that, so be it. As far as you're concerned, the karma is balanced. Yeah, they juggled you with somebody they were in a serious relationship with. So what did they expect? To just get away with it? No, no, no. The divine has brought karma into their life because they weren't honest. They were deceptive. They weren't faithful. Six of Pentacles. This person is forking out for a partner who doesn't love them, who was just in it for the money, and she's having her own fling with a King of Cups, and this person is miserable. Not your fault, right? Not your fault. The Moon. Be careful, Sarge, this person doesn't come towards you with a sob story playing the victim, because that would just be strategic. What are they hiding? Yeah, what they're hiding is they're still sat in their shadow side. This is someone that the divine wanted to recognise their shortcomings, their shadow energy, and this person didn't. What this person is doing is actually racking up more karma because they somehow feel that it's your fault that their life has disintegrated. But Sarge, you were the wronged party. This is someone who's just angry that they've got what they deserved. What is their energy? Two of Wands. It's as if they're itching to just come and see you. Yeah, ever since we met, Sag, for some strange reason, my life has just crumbled to the ground. It's as if they want to know if you did something to make that happen. But Sag, from what I can see, you didn't. But the divine was on your side because you were the one who was innocently hoping to develop a relationship with this person it was this person that deceived you, but they can't deal with that. They can't, they, they, don't want to, they don't want to think about that. It's your fault, Saj, right? It's your fault my wife hates me or my partner won't talk to me. It's your fault that I'm not getting any because they found out about you. Well, it's, it's not your fault, Saj. Oh my goodness. The Emperor, yeah, they're taking action. They're coming forward with 
some kind of apology, but they've got a strategy that they have been creating. They somehow want you to take the flag. Seven of Pentacles. They've been spending a lot of time looking at the past, looking at everything they invested in their long-term situation. Hangman. They've been seeing a situation differently. They may now believe, Sagittarius, that with the Hangman and the Ten of Cups, you are the person that they should have chosen, but they didn't. Because they were hanging on to a very stable partnership, they decided to just have fun with you, drop you, sort of leave you in the gutter and patch things up with their partner, but it hasn't worked out. It hasn't worked out. Their partner is angry and upset. She's having her own little fling. Yeah, Queen of Swords. This person is not happy anymore. Not happy anymore. Five of Wands. They're arguing. There's a lot of conflict and drama in the relationship. Yes. About the fact that their person moved towards you for a fling. But what do they expect? That their partner was going to say, oh, don't worry, darling, it's no problem. Yeah, we can patch things up. Don't worry, I forgive you. Oh, no, their partner is getting their own back by having an affair on them. So they're in a far worse situation than they were when they met you. Knight of Pentacles. I think their partner is very, very upset, actually, because they feel that their emperor is really wanting to be with you. The problem is, Sag, you're not remotely interested. They've received their karma. You've walked away. Blessings have rained down on your head because you were the wrong party. And you're looking to the future. You've got no interest in even talking to this person again. They can't quite believe it. What is their energy towards Sag? Yeah. Oh, don't worry, they're going to be messaging you. Oh, yeah, they're going to be messaging you. What they're going to say is, I want to come and see you because I think my relationship is over. Mm. Yeah, there's the apology. I'm so sorry, Page of Cups, twice. What is behind that apology? I don't trust this person, Sag. Be very careful with this person. They're angry. Yeah, what's behind that is that they are going through a really rough time. They're carrying the weight of the world on their shoulders. They don't know what to do. Seven of Cups. Sad, what the Divine is saying is be very careful with this person. Be very careful. Yeah. Nine of Wands. You need to put up very strong defences against this person. Because they're simply sad in ego and they somehow want to win. This is someone, Sag, who is very screwed up emotionally about what's happened. And they want to be victorious. Now, they may even want to come into your life to cause you upset again and to sabotage the connection again because they want you to hurt. Because they're hurting. If I was in your shoes, Sag, I would just keep the door locked. Don't answer messages from this person. Don't even respond to them. Don't even respond to them. They are sitting in the energy of wanting revenge for some reason. What is behind the six of wands for this person? Yep, there we have it. They want revenge. Underneath this little apology coming in, Sag, they are very, very angry. Because they've reaped karma. The problem is they can't accept it. They can't accept the karma and learn the lesson. They somehow want you to suffer as they have. But it was their fault, Sag. So I'm sorry, but... uh. Yeah, you're moving on, you're flying high, you're doing well. Life is good for you, Sag, and they hate it. 
So just watch for this person coming back, all sweetness and light, wanting to apologise, sad, I think my relationship's ending, I really want to spend time with you. No, 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 block this person. They do not have good intentions. They simply want to win and leave you in the gutter as they did before because they're angry about the karma that they've had to face, okay? Oh my goodness, I feel angry for you, Sag. So, guys, um, let's move into messages. Here we go, guys. Divinely guided messages of love. Let's see what this person would want to say. I wouldn't trust this person as far as you could throw them, Sag. Right? Keep your, keep your guard up. Yeah, third party. There were other things that got in the way of us being together. Ah, uh, well, there was another person. And not only that, they were in a very serious Ten of Pentacles situation with this other person. Oh, okay, they're angry, Sag, because they didn't think you cared. I think this person was simply sad and ego. They were hoping that you would run after them in floods of tears. Oh my goodness, don't leave me. I want you to leave the other person. Sad, you didn't. You just said, oh, okay, well, I have to cope with facing heartbreak on my own, but I'm going to do it. I'm going to pull myself back together again. I'm going to heal and I'm going to move forward. And that's exactly what you did. They hate the fact that you didn't chase after them. This is someone sad in ego. Wow. Reflection. Oh, yeah. Being away from you has allowed me to gain clarity. <laughs> Hmm, clarity that they received the karma that they were due. Yeah, wow. Gossip, I'm afraid of what other people will think. They're afraid that their life is actually going to continue to get worse. And that other people will get to know what this person did. Which was to leave a karmic partner sitting at home and have a fling with you. Secrets. I haven't told you everything. So if you thought this person was in some kind of long term dating scenario, oh, no, I think they're living with someone and I think they, they may even have a child. What they're also not telling you. Is that everything has disintegrated for this person, everything. They could have work issues. They could have health issues. It could well be that there is absolutely no warmth or affection between them and their karmic partner anymore. On top of which, I think their karmic partner is having an affair with the King of Cups. So their whole life has ended, you know? And they're coming back to you, kind of wanting to get revenge. But they caused all this. Yeah. Oh, Saji, commitment. I want you to be part of my future. Uh, yeah, no, I don't think so, Saj. This person is actually underneath very angry. It's as if they want you to carry some of the weight. Yeah, but you already have. In the form of you being heartbroken that you were used by this person because they weren't happy in the relationship they were in. Now it's got worse. They kind of want you to take the flak too. No, 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 Sag. No. I know my inability to make a decision hurts you. They want you to be part of their future, but they still haven't made a firm decision to end the partnership they're in. And Sag, even if they did, I've got to be honest, I doubt that you would take this person back. So be very careful. They're coming in. They don't want to take no for an answer. They're going to be all sweetness and light. They're going to act as if they really want to be with you. But underneath it, they're seeking revenge. Okay? Yeah? All right. So, Saji, a challenging reading. But this is for someone. I'm leaving it there. Have a really good weekend. Take care of yourselves. And I'll be back before you know it with your next set of readings. See you then. Bye now.